Hi everyone, I uh, just wanted to uh, show you these new uh, spotlights, LED spotlights that I've uh, just got from Hong Kong. Uh, very similar to the um, 1500 lumen ones that uh, I've already got on the bike, uh, but these are the latest, most powerful ones. They put out 3000 lumens each. Uh, the housing is exactly the same on the outside. The only difference is they've got four LED emitters instead of three on each one of the um, uh, spotlights. Uh, these put out 3,000 lumens each instead of 1,500 uh, for a power consumption of 30 watts each as opposed to uh, 20 watts each for the uh, 1,500 units. Uh, externally exactly the same uh, housing, uh, just the LED layout is uh, different. I'm going to give these a very quick test. I've got them hooked up to a uh, PC power supply, 12 volts. Flick them on. Give them a quick shine around. I'm going to put these, uh, add these to the existing 1500 lumen units, uh, which I've got to broaden the full beam because it is very narrow and worrying to ride around corners. These I'm going to point straight down the middle. Uh, I'm still not happy with the amount of time the HID takes to get to full power on that bike, so these will give me instant uh, on light straight down the middle. Uh, these really are very bright considering it's indoors and uh, the camera doesn't show light up particularly well indoors and it's actually daylight as well so I uh, can't wait to get these put on the bike give them a quick test and uh, see how they perform um, if they're much more powerful than the uh, 1500 lumen ones which I expect uh, I'm going to be very happy indeed so uh, let me put on the bike okay so I've just finished mounting the uh, auxiliary headlights uh, these were the 1500 lumen ones uh, that were already installed. I've drilled a couple of extra holes in the bracket and mounted these two 3000 lumen, the new ones, uh, inside. I thought I'd quickly show you whilst the fairing is off how I've wired all this together. I've got two 30 amp wires uh, running off the battery. This is your negative and your positive, uh, which feeds a fuse box that I've just put in. Uh, I decided to go with a fuse box because I've put a stable Nautilus horn on, which uh, has a heavy drain on it, so uh, that needed uh, a relay and some heavy gauge wiring running. Uh, so all this fuse box is run off uh, a heavy gauge wire coming from the positive which has got its own inline fuse. I put a 30 amp fuse in there and then you've got individual fuses for the various uh, circuits. Uh, I've got a 10 amp fuse for the uh, auxiliary headlights, the LEDs. I've got a 5 amp fuse in there for the auxiliary uh, power sockets which powers the uh, sat nav and the phone charger which is just up here. And uh, I've got a uh, 20 amp fuse which powers the stable Nautilus horn. Um, both, uh, all these, um, well, both the horn and the uh, auxiliary headlights are powered by relays. Uh, the relay has a uh, trigger which comes from the standard loom uh, for the Nautilus horn, and I've got uh, a trigger that comes from the full beam headlight to switch the spots on, and that'll trigger the uh, heavy gauge um, power supply to both the horn and the uh, stable, uh, both the horn and the uh, headlights. So. Uh, the outputs off these two relays run down under the uh, standard fuse box which is here, under these relays and meet up with the standard loom uh, which runs alongside the inside of the frame rail on the bike, uh, runs over the engine, uh, comes out here. This is uh, zip tied onto the tank when the tank is put back on to give it a little bit of clearance. Uh, this is going up to the auxiliary socket up inside the fairing. Uh, again that will be zip tied to the fairing once that's on and uh, this uh, is the wiring for the horn and for the uh, new, well, all four headlights now, all four LED headlights. Uh, this is the uh, full beam trigger for the relay for the headlights. And somewhere in here, we have the one for the uh, horn. That's it. Uh, the horn one comes uh, along here, so this is a standard connector for the horn which goes back to the relay to send it the signal uh, to power it. So uh, really happy with how that's turned out. I'll uh, flick this on briefly. Um, unfortunately, I can't start the engine because I haven't got a fuel tank on. Uh, so all this is going to run off the uh, battery, so it takes a bit of, uh, a bit of power to do that. So uh, we've got uh, two tiny 501 LED marker lights in here and I'm going to flick the, uh, we've got the dipped beam on this side which is a HID 35 watt, we've got the full beam which is a HID 50 watt, and uh, down here we have the 1500 lumen, 3000, 
3,000 and 1,500 again. So I'll flick these on. Uh, now, so that's the uh, full beam on. Oops, I'm going to trip over. And these really are uh, very bright. Put the dip beam on as well. So you've got your dipped beam here, full beam here. You've got 1500, 3000, 3000, and 1500. So the, uh, the new 3000 lumen lights are extremely bright and really make the 35 watt HID look uh, quite dim by comparison. 50 watt looks quite bright. Uh, but the 1500 uh, lumen spots, which I thought up until now were uh, very bright, it makes them look dim as well. So uh, I really can't wait to get this onto a dark open road at night and uh, give it a good, a good testing. So uh, I need to put all this uh, back together and give it a quick test and uh, hopefully get some video footage if it comes out okay. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what a stable Nautilus horn sounds like, there you go. Okay, so here we are. Just flicking HID low beam on now. Doesn't really register on this camera because of the uh, poor light properties. You can just see it building up now. And I'm going to flick the uh, high beam on with its uh, LED auxiliary lighting. That's an enormous uh, improvement, I can tell straight away. Uh, I'm going to take this down a dark road and uh, give it another go. Okay, so here we are down an extremely dark uh, country lane. Uh, got the bike on uh, tick over uh, on its HID 35 watt dipped. Um, the headlights is actually quite powerful but the camera doesn't show it up too well at night. Uh, not, too no not enough uh, gain on the light. Uh, so I'm just going to flick the high beam on and that uh, immediately makes a, a massive difference. Uh, it looks considerably brighter than uh, it used to do before I put the uh, second set of spotlights on. And from the front, uh, really quite, uh, quite dazzling. So uh, really happy with this modification. Hope this comes out okay on the computer. Thanks for watching. Do you want to play rough? Okay. Oh, no. Say hello to my little friend.